wireless compatibility 30-foot wireless play range with 40-hour battery life for easy gaming in all environments. Licensed, officially licensed SNES-inspired Switch controller by Nintendo for Switch, Switch Lite OLED models. Portable, a compact companion designed for on-the-go gaming, great for traveling to and from work, school or on vacation or road trips. Easy to play with friends. Motion, motion control to maximize your gameplay. Pairs well with any game, great gift for gamers, kids, children or significant others. Inspired by the classic Super Nintendo Entertainment System plays well with old-school retro games like Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, The Legend of Zelda, Yoshi's Island, Super Metroid, F-Zero, Star Fox, Super Mario All-Stars, Super Bomberman, Kirby Superstar, Earthbound, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario Brothers, Castlevania, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Super Punch-Out, Tetris, Final Fantasy, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Kirby's Dream Course. Portable. Pocketable. Playable. The little wireless controller for Nintendo Switch is the compact companion you need for on-the-go gaming. This pocket-sized controller lets you pack up the fun and game wherever you go. Wireless connectivity, with a range of 30 feet, means a cable-free experience, and with a 40-hour rechargeable battery you'll quit before it does. The little wireless controller may be small, but it's filled with big features. Top reviews from the United States. Highly recommend for most games, comparable to 8-bit, do SN30. I don't have much of a pros cons list because overall this is a great controller, although may not be a go-to for certain games. Wanted to highlight a couple things, hopefully these small details plus picks help if considering. Size, the small and pocket size comments I've seen are a tad misleading. Yes, compared to Pro Controller or similar, this is a small controller. It is a tad bigger than the 8-bit, do however, see pick, and doesn't have the extended handles for the palms that perhaps others are more used to. If you are looking for a Super Nintendo-like controller, you are in the right spot. Height of sticks, this was where the most games note comes in, the tops of the sticks sit higher than SN30 and much higher than Joy-Cons, see pick. This is awesome as the extended radius helps you cover more angles in games. The only downside if you will is for fighting games, I do not use this for Smash, as the directional plus A is too far a reach and not as quick to execute, or Street Fighter, the main fighting games I put a lot of hours into. This is just a matter of taste, but perhaps is not a deal-breaker for others looking for a controller specifically for fighting games, just something to consider. Along with that, given how rough I can play at times, the height of the sticks may put them in a more delicate situation than necessary, and I don't want to chance it. The SN30 remains my SF controller and I get by with JC for Smash. Also the tops of the sticks are indented and slightly larger than JC, again for certain games this may stick out. Must say though, can't win em all given the array of games so not a complaint.